Welcome everyone to this series of Singapore Math Made Easy where we share simple but powerful problem solving strategies to make your life easier. In this video, we are going to look at a problem solving technique called the draw a diagram method. Okay? There are many ways to draw a diagram and many types of diagram to draw. But for today, we will be looking at how to draw a diagram to help you solve speed questions easily. Are you ready? Here's an example of a speed question that you might see in primary 6. Your dad drove your mom from your home to the supermarket. From the supermarket, your mom walked 2 kilometers to a nearby shopping mall at a speed of 4 km per hour. At the same time, your dad drove home from the supermarket to pick you up. He then drove along the same route from home to meet your mom at the shopping mall. Your dad drove at an average rate of 80 km per hour throughout the journey. All of you reached the shopping mall at the same time. And you're supposed to find the distance between your home and the shopping mall. Wow, that sounds pretty confusing, right? Not only is the question long, there are also a lot of things that are happening. So instead of going through the words a few times and trying to figure out what is going on, Let's make our life easier by drawing a diagram to summarize everything, okay? We'll do it together step by step. Firstly, when we talk about speed questions, the first thing that comes to mind would be some people or some objects moving, correct? And that makes total sense because if nothing is moving, meaning everything is traveling at 0 km per hour, then this question wouldn't even exist in the first place. So since we know that people and objects are involved in this question, we need to know how many people or objects there are and who or what they are. Okay, so can you tell how many people are involved in this question? That's your dad, your mom, and you. So, three of you in all. Now, because the people are moving, they'll definitely be traveling from one point to another. So, the next thing that we need to take note of would be the different places. So can you find all the places in this question? You have your home, the supermarket, and the shopping mall. Alright, so let's put them down. We'll use dots to represent each place and label them accordingly. Okay, so here's our home, followed by the supermarket and the shopping mall. Alright, now here comes the fun part. Okay, it's time to add in arrows to show the starting point and ending point of each character as we follow them on their journey. Okay? And as we are doing that, we also add in any additional details that we know about them okay, in the diagram. So let's look at the question sentence by sentence. All right? Let's start with your dad. We'll use a brown arrow to represent his journey. Your dad drove your mom from your home to the supermarket. So this is your dad's path. Okay? And then once at the supermarket, your dad and mom went separate ways. Okay, on one hand, your mom traveled to the shopping mall on her own. So we are going to represent your mom's journey with a different color. So adding in what we know, this distance is two kilometers, and your mom is traveling at a speed of four kilometers per hour. On the other hand, your dad went back home from the supermarket to pick you up. Correct. So this is what happened, and after that, he drove from home with you. To meet your mom at the shopping mall. And you know that your dad's speed is 80 km per hour. And finally, the three of you reached the shopping mall at the same time. Okay, so in other words, what we know is that after your dad and mom were separated, they actually took the same amount of time to reach the shopping mall. So obviously, when your dad was with you, okay, for this journey over here, your mom was still traveling very slowly to the shopping mall. So far, so good. To complete our diagram, we need to ask ourselves one final question. What is the question asking for? In this case, the question is asking us to find the distance between your home and the shopping mall. Okay, so in other words, we are supposed to find the distance over here. That's it. Now that we have everything in, our diagram is finally completed. This definitely beats looking at a paragraph of words, right? See how everything is much clearer to us? So now that we are done with the diagram, we are ready to solve the question. 
If you want to see the full video explanation for this question, do check us out at practical.sg. Thank you for watching and we hope this video helped. Bye!